But you remember when, remember when We had our first argument, arguing I was on a love seat, you was on a argument, and we were talking shit. I called you a whore, your jaw dropped when I called you it. You punched me in the mouth with a close fist. I choked you right in front of your mom and them nigga. Remember that? Remember that? See, one thing a lot of people always ask me was the hot beats. In which, over time, man, I've been trying to develop a list of producers in which I know people would fuck with that I approve of. You can see this list at downloadpass.com slash beats. But one producer in particular, his name is T Customs. We decided to collaborate to bring you guys quality production at the cheapest price possible. You can use my promo code DOWNLOADPASSSAVE40 at tcustoms.com to save 40% on your next purchase. Definitely go to tcustoms.com man to peep out some good soul food style beats and multiple other types of styles. What up YouTube? This your boy Download back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry man. So the Billboard chart done dropped this week man and Drake came in at number one with 659,000 units sold. And that is how you fucking sell, my dude. Like, on pace to go platinum in two fucking weeks. Of course, the sales are definitely gonna drop a lot from week one to week two. You hardly ever see this type of shit. Honestly, I think next week he's gonna probably get 100,000 units sold. And truly, I didn't believe that the album actually deserved this much hype to it. But I ain't knocking it, man. Keep doing your motherfucking thing, Dre. Right? But anyway, on to today's album review, and it's to that Pusha T. My name is my name. And you know what? I came into this album pretty skeptical, man, after I started reading about some of the things that he's been saying on how this is basically recreating the 90s and shit. Like, that's the key sign to some bullshit. But as I listen to this album, man, it is damn close to the album that I've always wanted from Pusha T, dude. My favorite songs off of this is that Sweet Serenade, that King Push, that 40 Acres, that Hold On, that No Regrets, man. Pretty fucking solid songs. And given he is pretty consistent here, man, because what, there's only 12 songs on there? 5 out of 12. That's not bad. But here's my problem with all of the songs that I do like. The hooks. It seems like he didn't put any effort at all in doing this shit. Like he outsourced all of the hooks and the people that he brought in to do it did a half ass job. Hooks are part of the song too and they're an important part man. See the hook is repeating more than anything else on the fucking song. And for those not to be right man, you take away the quality of all of your fucking songs. I mean if he would have just took his time and wrote the hooks just as well as he did his lyrics man, we could have been looking at a classic here. But instead what we have here is a damn good listen. I definitely recommend people to peep it out man, a link to the full stream is in the description man I give it a solid 8 out of 10 and it sucks because it had the potential to be much more but anyway on to today's article from downloadpads.com and today's article is about things that are too good to be true man because there's a lot of that shit in the music industry man first of all Understand that you're going to have to grind. Shit is going to take you years to develop your fan base. Shit is not going to be fucking easy. Therefore, you can pretty much determine what are going to be traps and what is too good to be fucking true. Like a lot of these promotions and shit that's out there, people saying that we're going to get you a hundred thousand views damn near overnight. How does that make any fucking sense if you are an independent artist? Understand the only exceptions to this shit is when you are so far ahead of your time, when you're doing something that's not being done, then you can see some quick progress. But if you're not doing anything new, and someone comes to you with something that seems too good to be fucking true, all it is is holding you the fuck back. Expect to grind, man. Expect the hard route. Anything otherwise is gonna hold you back back for years and actually cost you your fucking career. Quit looking for the easy way out. 